Hey, Claude Pallon here, Affiliate Starting Line. Welcome. It's going to be a video about Chrome on a Mac and how to get to your settings screen to set up all the settings in Chrome. And uh, when I first loaded up Chrome, when it first came out, I was, I was missing a couple of things. I was missing my home button, which I was used to, so that I could go to the page that I would selected for my home button. And I was missing the tools wrench, the one that's right over here. And uh, when you initially loaded up Chrome, they weren't there. And there was the only way to get them was to go to the Preferences screen. Now, you go to the Preferences screen two ways. You can come up to Chrome right here, click it, and click Preferences. And it will bring you right by default to the Settings screen. You can also access the Settings screens by going to your Tools wrench over here, click the drop down and come down and click settings right there. Send you to the same page. So that's how you do that. Now when you're looking for your home button you can come down under appearance and right down here show home button. This one is selected. If it's not selected then you want to select it. So you can see here if I toggle it there's no home button. If I come here and click show home button there it is. Um, you don't have to select anymore. There isn't a box here to uh, show the tools, wrench, and uh, the drop down. So that's uh, been changed. And then you also uh, can, from this screen, you know, you can control certain settings. The sign in, if you want to disconnect your Google account, you have some advanced sync settings if you want to access those. Startup, you can tell the design which page on startup you want to start up with. Appearance, we just saw that. Home page and always show your bookmarks. I always like to show my bookmark. If I click it, you see the bookmarks disappear. When I click it, they reappear. Search, designate which search engine you want to, as the default search engine. How many users, or who do you want uh, accessing your settings in Chrome. Default browser. Now down here is show advanced settings. This is another important part. So here it's, you're going to begin to access other interesting information. Privacy. So you can set clear your browsing data from here. You can set your content settings. You can control your passwords and forms. You can control the, the look and feel of your web content. Uh, network. Chrome is using your computer system proxy settings so you can change them if you want. Languages. You control which languages. How your downloads. Uh, where they get sent. Uh, secure sites, how you manage the certificates, and cloud print, whether you want to print remotely. Under privacy, if you click on here and click content settings, you're going to open up another very important screen and that allows you to control cookies, to control images, how they show, control JavaScript, uh, allow sites handlers, how to become default handlers for protocols, how to control plugins, pop-ups, very often you know, pop-ups and uh, cookies will determine how certain pieces of software work so that's important to know where to come in here and find how to set those settings. Location, uh, allow sites to track my physical location and, and, or disallow it. Notifications, ask me when a site wants to show desktop notifications. I, you just leave that on recommended, that's what I do. Manage uh, full screen, manage exceptions, mouse cursor, web intents, etc. There's the OK button. So this content settings screen is also very important. And you access it through the privacy content settings. You can clear your browsing data. Occasionally you should come in here and empty the cache and delete the cookies to make sure that your browser is working uh, at its peak speed and efficiency. And so that is the settings page for your Chrome browser on a Mac. And that's how you come, that's, this is where you come in to control of either seeing your home page uh, icon and controlling a lot of other settings in Chrome. And that's it. So I hope this is, video has been helpful. This is Claude Milan Affiliate Starting Line. Stay with it, stay well, and we'll talk to you soon.